Hello and welcome to episode 3. This is, uh, episode 3, yeah. I know we said we were going to be starting off with Aqua, but actually it's Terra first. Terra and Aqua kind of go run together, but this will be mainly an Aqua episode if you guys are looking forward to Aqua, so look forward to that. Is something wrong? It's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress, but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. Huh? Oh. Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. Strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. Unversed! Such sad music. Heart is huh? important, but huh? that's not all you need. Huh? There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Nothing, my dear. Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Oh, but I do. It's just no use. Nonsense. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. Ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are. But we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Oh, yes. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Like all dreams, I'm afraid this can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. Think about it, the spell's not that great. The most impressive part about it is probably the carriage. The dress and the makeup and the hair, I mean... I mean, I guess that was impressive for the, the year it set it in, I guess? Her heart was full of light. Why didn't I see it? What did you do? I can hardly tell she's the same person. Who are you? Terra. Terra, in your heart, do you believe that dreams can come true? I do. But I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true. 
Yes, of course. But sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done. Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. Yeah, Tara, God. <laughs> such a realist. So obviously we have to go that way, but can we go this way? Oh, you can go this way. Cinderella's house! Take that! God, fire's so useless. Hey, look, a balloon sticker. Or whatever they're called. Kingdom stickers. Here too. <gasps> I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. 
Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um... All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. As I say, protect Cinderella. Oh no you don't. No you don't! Freeze! No! How does that work? After oh, after a successful block, maybe that's what I gotta do for uh, the other one I got too. I like never block those, so that's my issue. Oh, thank you, um, Tara. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> I think they'd put just a little bit more effort by putting a little bit more NPCs in the background to make it look like an actual ball, but you know, it is what it is. Maybe just believing is enough. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the Prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. <laughs> Unversed! <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? 
<clears throat> well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. Oh, look, they're dancing. Possibly be. I'll take care of this. Saved us all. <sighs> the guests were just starting to enjoy themselves. 
Well, don't give up just yet. Oh! Tell me something. Have you always had a problem around here with those monsters? No. I believe uh, they began to appear shortly after a boy in a mask arrived in our kingdom. Those that saw him said the monsters obeyed his every command. A boy in a mask? Do you know where he is now? Well, um, no. I don't believe anyone has seen him since then. I see. Oh, my goodness. It's midnight. Yes, so it is. But why? Goodbye. Wait, come back. Please come back. I'm sorry. away from home what I think he left to go find you do you have any idea why no actually just before I left he tried to tell me something I should have listened to what he had to say oh so did you manage to locate master Zaynort no but it seems he's looking for pure hearts, filled with light. Pure hearts? Filled with light? All I can tell you is that his search hasn't taken him here. Alright. I'll stay and see if I can find more clues. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. <laughs> Aqua! You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to believe. No matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream will always be enough to light the darkness. Mm. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. The boy in the mask who is leading the unversed. Who is he? Does he have anything to do with Master Xehanort's disappearance? Master Ericus said he first received word of these events from Master Yen Sid. Maybe it's time I went and spoke with him myself. He'll be alright. He won't give into it. Hip! 
are those ladies? Oh, if I recall correctly, that is Lady Tremaine, and those are her daughters. There was something very wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh, my apologies. I was mistaken. <sighs> Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One dropped by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find the maiden to whom this belongs. You will? Of course, Your Highness. After all, you finally found someone whom you wish to marry. Upon hearing that happy news, your father, the king, has decreed that a quest shall begin immediately throughout the kingdom. And I will start with the closest residence, that of Lady Tremaine. Closest, quote-unquote. Lady Tremaine. I had better pay her a visit. how Ven was like unique because he had the uh <laughs> Yeah! 
a trap! Honor our humble home, my lord. <clears throat> Quite so. May I present my daughters, Grisella and Anastasia? As I feared, there is darkness here. Wait! Wait. Uh, it's dangerous to fight the darkness with light, my dear. Who are you? Cinderella's fairy godmother. I appear to those who believe that dreams come true. Then I'm honored. But why would you advise me not to fight darkness with light? Strong rays of sun create dark shadows. Sadly, Lady Tremaine and both her daughters are jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. Qualities that appear to you as light. Jealousy is darkness. Light and dark go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Then, what should I do? It's quite simple, dear. One of Cinderella's friends is trying very hard to keep her light from fading. I want you to join Little Jacques and help him. I can do that. You'll need a bit of my magic to help, Jacques. <laughs> Come back and see me when you're ready. Ah, that's right. You do become small with Aqua. Are you okay? Friend of Ellie, step muddy like her in a run. Gotta let her out. Gotta save Friend of Ellie. Oh. Let me help you. Ah, oh, suck, suck. Oh, that's not like Ben Vans. Do you ever meet a Ben? Uh, I'm Aqua. But tell me how you know about Ven. That's a friend. Good friend. Ben Ven help a jack fix a Flinderelli dress. And where is he now? Look up a friend. Other friend. I see. Ven, you must have just missed Tara. I can't understand why. Mm. It always fit perfectly before. Quite enough of this. The next young lady, please. Oh no, cheer that. Gotta flurry! Flinderelli, gotta try that flipper! Come on, come on, flurry! Ah! No, 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 no! I said gotta flurry! It's alright. Leave this to me. Jack, don't lose that key. Ah, this is why I remember protecting Jack. I thought you did it as Van, but no, you did it as Aqua. Come on! Yeah, 
You're the only ladies here? There's no one else, Your Grace. Come on. Hurry, Jack. Would it, uh, would it be all right if I tried on the glass slipper? Hmm. I met you at the palace. Unfortunately, you are not the young lady the prince is looking for. But I am a girl. I should at least be given a chance to try it on. Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? She's probably here to rob us. Mother, do something! That girl does not live here. I have only two daughters. I believe we're finished here, Your Grace. Regardless, she means no harm. Here you are, my dear. Jack, hurry. Your Grace, please wait. May I try it on? Pay no attention to her. She's just an imaginative child. Madam, my orders were every maiden. You should let her go first. Thank you. I actually want to thank you for teaching Tara he needs to keep believing. Oh? <laughs> what will I do? Oh, please, don't worry. You see, I have the other slipper. <sighs> Yo, it's literally been 20 years since I've seen that movie, so... <laughs> Did that really happen in the movie? Did, like, she trip him, break the glass slipper? A I can't remember. Fit. I must inform the prince immediately. You will come with me, of course. I'd be happy to. It's not fair. She's a scullery maid. Mother, are you just going to let them leave? No. Cinderella will be put in her place. God, what an evil hag. What's that? <laughs> what happened? Where is Cinderella? She was attacked by a, a creature, a monster in the forest. <laughs> a monster? A monster? This is what happens when you go against my wishes. The darkness in their hearts overtook them. Go. They literally killed themselves. Stupid. First, be ready to block with the X.
pure heart filled with light? It's strange. The master taught me darkness needs to be destroyed. But how, if not with light? Oh, my dear, you're too young to know. Experience more things, and you'll find the answer. Just trust in your dreams. <sighs> Forged a dealing with Cinderella. So creepy. Hmm? <laughs> what has happened here? Poor Snow White. <laughs> She was just as sweet as could be. She sang us pretty songs. And made us smile. At bedtime, she told wonderful stories. About falling in love and the prince she'd met. And when we went to work, she gave us all a kiss. She was so full of kindness. Why, she made better folk of all of us. From what you've said, she must have been very loved. But how did this happen to her? The wicked queen was horribly jealous of our dear Snow White's beauty. So she used her evil magic to change into an old hag. Then she gave Snow White a poisoned apple. And by the time we got here, well, it was just too late. We found the princess as still as can be. Nothing we could do would wake her. Isn't there some way we can help her? Well, not unless somebody craves the vessel. I'll brave the castle. No, you fools can stay here doing nothing. But I'm not afeard of going, not even to that witch's lair. You'll never make it. The castle's supposed to be guarded by magic and crawling with monsters. Hmm. All right. Then I'll go. You will? I will. Leave it to me. Well, all right, my dear. We'd be much obliged. Talk with all of them, but I don't feel like it. Hey, look at that. We need this yeah. here because of Van. Was it Van? Yeah, I think it was Van. I also added the thunder back. Um, I might have to change it to fire, though. We'll see. Free! 
Please! Such beautiful land. Thunder. Yeah, too. Freeze. Yeah. Farewell. Nice. Yeah. 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 Freeze. Is something wrong? This castle. It's different somehow. And I can't find the princess or hear her beautiful voice. Was it all a dream? Wait. You mean you know Snow White? Oh, yes. We met once. It was a song that drew us together. Has something happened to the princess? Yes. I'm afraid so. The Wicked Queen tricked her into eating a poisoned apple. I must go to her. Where is she? In the woods, guarded by seven kind dwarfs. I will find her. Perhaps there's a way I can help. This place ain't familiar to us. 
I mean, familiar to Aqua, but it's familiar to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
something's not right. Actually, might have been the harder one. I don't remember. I mean, it won't be that hard. I'm probably overlooking ah. it, but. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, you see, he's smiling. That's the one you want to go for. Ah! Princess! Ventus, why won't you wake up? You're awake! Ventus! Oh, it's a miracle! Terra! Master Ericus! Ventus is awake!
Every waking is a new journey. Maybe Vent left because it was his time. Still no sign of Terra. her what oh I'm sorry it's just I've never seen anyone so beautiful who are you I'm Ventus but you can call me Ven oh you don't seem bad dear I'm certain you have a pure heart just like our precious Aurora can you tell me why she's sleeping long ago Maleficent cursed her now she's stolen her heart. Hmm. Well then, why don't I go get it back for her? That's impossible, dear. Maleficent's home is at the Forbidden Mountain. It's not safe. I'm not afraid. We, we can't just leave Aurora like this. I can help. You gotta believe me. Come on. Let's go get her heart. You know, you're absolutely right. The Forbidden Mountain is through the forest. Come along, follow us. After all, we wouldn't want you to get lost. Yeah! 
Looks like we're stuck. This must be Maleficent's doing. I know. Shall we? Yep. Fire released.
probably have to go in there. Huh. Yep, see, you gotta get the treasure chest. Huh. Huh. Gotcha! Oh yeah, see, look at that. That's why strike rate is good sometimes. Fire! Are you Link? Hey, yeah. He's got that dodge roll. Careful, they're maleficence. Well, they ain't guarding nothing. <laughs> Tension. No sleeping on the job. Yeah! Yeah! 
Saw that change, right? The last second. That should do it. Huh? Yeah, the room opens up after you release the heart. Don't you remember? We've met before. We... we have? Why, of course, you said so yourself. Once upon a dream. is seeing her memories. I never thought I would meet you. Outside of my dreams, that is. Who are you? What's your name? Hmm? Oh, my name. Why, it's... Oh, oh no, I can't. Goodbye. I must see you. I don't know. Maybe someday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no. This evening. At the cottage. In the Glen. What was that? Aurora's memory. She must have gotten her heart back. So her dream came true? Yes, not long ago. Dreams are very strong beliefs. Aurora's led her to her true love. I see you hold strong beliefs, too, don't you, dear? Yep. You also have a strong light. Hmm. All right, hurry! We can't stay here! What's that? I think I'd better go take a look inside. This is the area. Remember when in Terra's the fire was blocking it? Pretty sure this is beyond the fire.
is in Versailles attacking us? Someone has released Aurora's heart. Tell me, child, was it you? Maleficent. Only because you stole it in the first place. A keyblade? You must be Ventus. Huh? How do you know about me and the keyblade? My powers ensure I'd know of the key to bringing me hearts. Terra gave me a demonstration. <laughs> Terra? He was here? Why, yes. In fact, it was he who stole Princess Aurora's heart. That's a lie! I was asked to leave you unharmed, but it seems I have no choice! To sleep, you fall Bring forever. It. We can help. You face all the powers of evil. Yeah. Thunder. Come on. Gotcha. Thunder. Fire. There's no way Terra would hurt somebody like that. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Fen, don't be fooled! Huh? Aqua! Terra would never do that. You know that as well as I do. Yeah. Ah. The truth can be most cruel, even amongst the closest of friends. 
After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <sighs> the Master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. Like, like right, right now, now, he's leaving you behind. behind. And by the by time you time catch, up, catch up, he'll be a different, different person. person. Uh, sorry, Aqua. But I can't go with you. What? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then! Where are you? It's just... I have to find him before it's too late. Then I see you too wield a Keyblade. How do you know about the Keyblade? A source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men, of entire worlds, and allows one to obtain anything and everything. Such a power I find most fascinating. So, Terra... He really? Yes. Now, my dear, would you like to assist me as well? Never! I see. Xehanort was right. You are a most stubborn girl. Master Xehanort, how do you... It seems you need time to consider my offer. Fortunately, I have the perfect place. What? Who are you? My name is Aqua. It looks like I was caught in a trap. Why are you here? To prevent me from breaking her evil curse, I was to meet the most beautiful girl at a cottage in the Glen. But now my true love lies in an eternal slumber, and only I can break the spell. You must really love her. Is what you said true? Yes. Maleficent told me. Oh, Prince Philip, it's you! Now, Philip, the road to true love may be barred by many more dangers, which you alone will have to face. I'm going with you. There's something I need to know, and Maleficent has the answer. Yes, of course, dear. Now come along. We must hurry to Aurora. How would she just get out of there? But Aqua does have a keyblade, so I guess that makes sense. Fire! <laughs> Keyblades can unlock
check out Maleficent's yeah, Maleficent's goons. I like this because you can work with. Yeah. Fire. Freeze. Come on. Go. Gotcha.
Prince Phillips, like, what are you doing up there? Absolute zero. That's more Aqua style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blizzard, you know. <laughs> Obtained high jump. Nice. Now we have uh, absolute zero. Probably be in person. Yeah, I'll just say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. of thorns shall be your tomb. Wound round the castle in a bower of doom! <laughs> Maleficent, what did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you. Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <sighs> Yeah. Love that dragon. Gotta fight it, but I love it. Oh, 
This battle's kind of cool. Together, now sword of truth fly swift and sure that evil die and good endure. It's the power of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. I don't know, I think the sort of truth did the most damage, but... Semantics. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. Then they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara, you better stay strong for me. Keep going. 
Well, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a little weird to uh, do this now because I actually still have to play as Ventus because Ventus's uh, thing is <laughs> kind of like edited between Aquas. But yeah, I'm saying it now. So uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like and subscribe and have a great one. See you next time. Peace.